She lied to the media. She lied to the victims. She lied to Congress. Her lie all the way along was, has been exactly what she told us, which was, I didn't know until 2016 when the newspaper report came out and then we were all, of course, shocked and appalled. That's not true. But once she started telling that lie, that the, there was a sports med doc under review, from that point forward, she has two choices. When she meets with us in 2018, is either lie to us or admit she'd lie to everybody else and expose herself and MSU to additional civil and possible criminal liability. The amount of lying that's been done is overwhelming, but not by Luana Simon, but by the prosecution and the detectives. In 2017, Nassar already pled guilty, was sentenced to more than twice his lifetime, 60 plus 40 plus 40 years. He's already in prison. He's already said everything and told everything. They made a full investigation. What did they do? They came in and interview Luana Simon with no reason to. What are they gaining from it? I'll tell you what they're gaining. There was an election going on. The Attorney General is a man running for an office that a woman was running for, the governor. And everything seemed to be woman-weighted because of the fact of all these things that happened to these women. And they don't interview her for all those years, but they do just before the election. What would they have learned if she said, yeah, I knew the name Nasser? That's outrageous and ridiculous. All they would have learned is one thing, how to try and win an election and how to play games with somebody's life.